I'll go for an empower if you burn here. She has five bit mocking spiel. Oh no. Oh, does that, does that kill me? She does crit that. Oh my god. I did not expect her to have five pip. How much is that doing? What up, y'all? It's your boy Gleeble, and back with your daily wizarding wisdom and PvP perfection. I'm on the Cosmic Myth Wizard. We're rocking the motorist robe setup, the setup that you know you love with this beautiful little moose pet. Here is our main deck, and here's our side deck, and we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. We got this match. Looks to be against a balanced wizard from the pet, which is it's a little bit worrisome. We will discard this and actually Athena right now. Is that a weakness right off the bat? I'm fine with that if it is. Okay, it is. Um, what we're gonna do is we. What are we gonna do? We're gonna want it. If she chooses to burn us, we're gonna go for the Basilisk. I know that on my balance, whenever people just send the instant Basilisk, it's really annoying. So to prevent that, you have to weakness them or shield first. But, uh, you know, that's what she just did. But even if she burns me now, I'm still gonna send it. Is this a burn? I will send the Basilisk just to even out the damage and make it where you can't burn me later. Beautiful. All right, how much is that doing? Can't do more than a thousand, right? It doesn't do more than a thousand. So I think our Basilisk does more for us than that did for her. So we are going to Basilisk here. This is fine. I like this trade. Myth Wizards and Fire Wizards do this to me all the time. They just take an early shot. And it's so annoying because I can't burn them. And they do a bunch of damage. Because how much is this doing? Her did like 900. Yeah, I do 1,000. I'll take that trade. Does she really shield? Okay, she does. I'm actually not that worried about it. I'm probably going to shatter later. So what do I do here? I'm going to Blade is what I'm going to do. I'm going to blade into a tower shield. And if she does choose to go for the uh, steel ward, I'll just shatter it. Ooh, these cards are interesting. I'm going to enchant that pigs. Is that a, it is a wand hit. Okay. Let's see. Is that shadow wand hit fire or balance? Let's see. It's fire. That means that she either has the, uh, one of two wands, the, um, the outlaws wand, which has got the stupid may cast, or she has a celestial wand, which has a may cast that can steal my blades, which I don't really like, but look at those blades. Oh yes. Thank you. Moose pet. I love you. If she sends a burn, I will be sending the open Minotaur here. Like, it, like I, Alexandra, I will be sending it. Don't, don't burn. It's not a good move. I'm gonna be Minotauring you. Don't do it. Okay, that's just a thousand. My Minotaur is going to do much more than a thousand damage. Triple buffed and pierce bladed. Oh yes, this is this is gonna do a lot. No crit, which is unfortunate. But I mean, it's like a, a quad buffed Minotaur. How much is that doing? Two K. I will take it. And I do get rid of my pips too, which is you know kind of good considering I managed to balance, which means she cannot mana burn me. So what you gonna do, mana burn one pip? Is that an empower so that you can go for more mana burns? It is an empower so that she can go for more mana burns. Kind of a little bit of a, you know, scummy strategy. I don't do it on my balance, because, you know, I have self-respect. But I, I don't guess Alexander shares that same value. So what can I do here? I will be going for that tower. Actually, her shad meter is super low. Because I've already got a shad, and I'm almost at another shad before she even gets one. So what could she be rocking? Is she like a Nova or something? Let's see, what's her health at? No, that's too high health. She's not Dark Nova. If she was Dark Nova, she'd have much less health. I'm gonna bubble here, actually. And her burns did more than what a Nova's would be able to do. Maybe she's just rocking Turquoise Robe or something? I don't really know. This has to be a bubble, though, I would think, right? It's a bubble. It is a bubble. I'm just gonna bubble again. I do have a double shab before she even gets one. What is that, a shield? It's probably a bubble. Bubble's her best move. All right, I'm gonna try to blade here and then shatter her uh because that's just my best move or i could even try to go for a shrike but i'm, uh, I'm kind of iffy because i don't have stun block and she could also dispel me so i don't know how good of a move a, uh, a shrike actually is i will pierce enchant that charmer though do you go for the burn i think she does which i don't know you can't yeah i mean i guess you could but it's six pips through a shield it's into like 200 300 oh never 500 i am completely wrong so i need to shield here um game that's not a shield i need i need a shield here game you're really messing me up okay i guess i'll tower that's another burn is it actually it really you just double burn into shields that's not that worth it at all yeah like that's not really that worth it so now what do i do i can actually empower now that i'm looking at it do i have another shield though i don't i have stun blocks let me do that because now i can strike now i'm good to strike and i have more strikes i know i can pull them does she go for a weakness here that's super fine if you go for a weakness. I'm super fine with that. Okay, that's beautiful. I can go for a white rat to take that off, or I could go for a wanted if I can pull it. Actually, I could go for an impact. No, because she failed pip, so she's not going to actually go for the mana burn. So I'm going to go for the mythic fuel right now. What does she go for? Really a shield? Is that Aegis? I could go I could go for a minute. Oh, okay, it is Aegis. I could still go for a minotaur, though. 
I think my best move here is to bubble. And then if she does go for a burn, um, oof, I could empower or try to go for more blades. Oh, what is she doing? Is that another shield? It is, but that one is not Aegis, so I could shatter her here. What I'm actually going to do instead, though, is shield. That way, she can steal ward. I can shatter and still have enough pips to send a mystic. Or a minotaur still. Do you burn me here? I don't think a burn here is a good move. I am going to shatter if she burns. Okay, she does burn. So I'm going to shatter because my pips are to where I can still send a minotaur or a mystic. And she only has one shield, right? Yeah, she only has one shield. That one, uh, that, you know, that one miss shield that she put on Aegis. So she's got to go on the defense here. What is she doing? Is that another bubble? It's probably a shield, I would think. No, it's a bubble. All right. I mean, her best move, I would think, in my opinion, would be a spirit shield. That way, I would have to go for a minotaur, which is a weak hit and is going to be weakness anyways. But if she wants to keep bubbling, I'm super fine with that. Is that another uh, bubble? Is it actually? Oh, it is another bubble. Do I just send the mystic? Like, I think I'm super fine sending the mystic right now. Because then I get rid of the weakness. And, you know, I can just build up for another big shot. Like, what's the downside of mystic? Nothing. And I get rid of my pips. So even next turn, she can't mana burn me because it's not going to be worth it. The only thing that would really help here is if I crit. Game, that's your Q. Ooh. Okay. I don't guess I can crit anything. How much is that doing, though? It's probably going to do a decent amount. Like, at least, I don't know, 12, 13, 1400 ish. Okay, 1600. I'll take it. That's beautiful. What does she go for? She goes for an availing? Okay. That's fine. That's most likely to do around 400 per round. So she's going to heal about 1200. What's her health going to be like? It's going to be a little over mine, which I'm not that worried about. I am going to bubble here because she's got like really low pips. I also have low pips, but I have a bubble in my hand. I'm going to hope she doesn't. That is doing about 400 per round. Does she go for the bubble? I think a spirit shield's a better move here, isn't it? I guess she goes for the bubble anyways. I will be blading into the into the big hit to kill you. She's also sitting on her shads. Like she's not going for shad hits. She's not striking. It's uh, I don't I would I don't know how good of a move that is. Is this a spirit shield? It is a spirit shield this time. Okay, that's fine. Did I keep my shatter? I'm really hoping I kept my shatter. Let's find out. I did not keep my shatter. That's a very big oof. Okay. Uh, I will be shielding here. Does she go for a steel ward? I think how much on a bet she does. Oh, she doesn't. She goes for a wanded. Okay. Actually, what could I do here? Could Minotaur, but I think a shield's a better move. I finally did get the damage enchanted Yaga. That's beautiful. So now I could actually strike. Is that a burn? I will I'll take a burn right now. Oh, it's not. Wait, did I please tell me I kept my wand hits though? Oh my goodness. Alright, so since I didn't keep my wand hits like an actual nub, I'm gonna double shield here and hope that she goes for a steel giant, because if that's the case, then I can strike and she can only burn me once. And I actually got a shatter. I didn't even think I had any more left. What does she go for? Is that another weakness? Don't be a steel giant. Okay, actually, it's a burn. I'll take that. Now, what do I do? I could... I could pierce. That way, she shields again. And then I can shatter. Because since I went for the mystic once, she's going to think I'm going to go for the mystic again. She's going to double shield. Then I shatter and put on more pressure than before. What is that? Is that a shield? Beautiful. Look at those callouts. All day. All day, I'll take these callouts. So, I, I am going to be... Wait, am I? Yeah, I am going to be shattering you. And she can go, like, be my guest. Please go for the burn, because I will be taking the open charmer. Like, I have it. I pack charmer. I have it in my hand right now. I will be taking it. Or the pigs. I could also pigs and then go for, like, a shrike. Is that a burn? Is it actually? I think I go for the pigs if she does. Oh, interesting. I take the Yaga then all day. And that's, like, an, and that's an AoE, too. So that's one of her AoEs down to take out my Yaga minion. So that's even better of me. I'm probably not going to Green Oak, uh, even with the Shrike. I can go for the Yaga right now into the Charmer. And I, I'm really hoping that she doesn't suspect that. Because if she expects that, you know, she's going to shield here. And if she doesn't shield, I get an open, pierce enchanted, mythic field Charmer, which I would really like to take. How much does this Yaga do? I'm thinking at least 2k, which is really good for me. Let's see. How much? That's, that's at least 2k. What is she going for? Is that a Basilisk? Or sorry, no, like a Chimera? Is that a split damaged worm? I, I mean, I'll just trade the shads with you. I kind of didn't expect you to have a four pip shad, but you also didn't expect me to have a four pip shad. So I will be trading the four pip shads with you. But you're just going to be split up, right? She's going to take it on the minion too? I would I would think she would. Do you split yours? She does split hers, so hers is going to do much less than mine will. How much health does she got? She's got less health than I have right now. And she's going to have a lot less whenever I go for this uh, snake charmer. You, you can tell she did not expect me to have the charmer here. That's very embarrassing for her. I think if I crit this, it's GG. I can just hit through shields at that point. I do crit that, and it is pierce enchanted, and it's got the trap. Does she block it? She doesn't block it. That's beautiful. How much is that doing? That does 2k. What is that, a weakness? 
Or a mantle or something? I don't know what you do here. What do you do here? It is a weakness. Okay, I can shield. I'm gonna try to shield if I can pull it. What, do I have a shield game? Shield? I've got a blade. I might as well blade. Because she fail pipped anyways. So she's not gonna be able to send any hit. It, it, it does, unless she has like full on max spell limited Bacchus shield for three pips. But I could no cap either Yaga into the shield or just straight up Minotaur. What do you do here? Is that, that's, yeah, that's a shield. So now I shield. Actually, I don't even have to shield. I'm gonna pierce that. Cause I don't, I don't even think a worm kills me. Do I have a shield? I don't. Um, I am gonna be piercing that because I believe a Minotaur kills, right? Unless I have a shield, that's a better move. I don't have a shield. I will be piercing that because I don't see a way that a Minotaur doesn't do 700 damage. And if she doesn't shield and tries to go for like a heal or something, I can send a uh, pigs and that I know for a fact kills. What does she go for? Is that, oh, did she mana burn me? I'll go for an empower if you burn here. She has five pit Mockenspiel. Oh no. Oh, does that, does that kill me? She does crit that. Oh my God, I did not expect her to have five pip. How much is that doing? Oh! Um. <clears throat> she played extremely well though. Having the having the worm and having the five pit mocking spiel, I did not expect either one of those. But yeah, GG, you played well. I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you liked the video, hit the like button below, but only like if you liked the video. If you learned something today, hit that sub button, turn on all notifications, that way you're notified whenever I upload a video. And make sure to post any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or hate mail in the comment section below. I'll bring to those and respond to those as soon as I see them. But until then, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!